Cheap Seats. Listen to this rocking song. It's 27 seconds long. This is our new Cheap Seats theme. In season four, we have a dream. To teach the children how to laugh with the help of our great staff. Going farther than Ron Parker. Comedy was never darker. There ain't no time to be a slouch. Join the boys here on the couch. They'll take you on a nasty ride. Keep in the vault of U.S. pride. Cheap Seats. Doing it. USA. Hey, welcome to Cheap Seats. We've got a really great show for you today. We've really been thinking outside the box on this one. We put our heads together, ran some ideas up the flagpole to see who saluted. We synergized, outsourced, downsized, and we even went out of pocket so we could take it to the next level. Of course, those of you still in high school will recognize that we're using corporate speak. Why? Because today we're watching another corporate sports battle, this one from 1998. Now, before we get to the action, let's make sure we're all on the same page here. We just want everyone to relax, watch the show, and enjoy the jokes. No need to boil the ocean here, people. Just figure out our core competencies so we can arrive at an integrated solution. There are a lot of value-added developmental opportunities here, people. It's low-lying fruit, guys. Just reach for it. And don't forget to ask for receipts. These four I just got promoted to project manager. Woo! of the Anderson Consulting Corporate Sports Battle. I'm guessing Anderson Consulting drew a buy in the first four rounds. Sponsor's exemption, that's smart business. That's Anderson Consulting. Miami Beach, Florida, a place Birthplace of the fluorescent thong. It is the site of what for 16 years has become known as the battle. Although Jeffrey Skilling claims this is the first he's heard about it. People each over you know, it's a shame that Anderson Consulting is not well represented in this tournament. It's like an Anderson Consulting company picnic. These teams place fifth or better in one of 13 regional competitions in order to get a berth here in the finals. These companies may be household names. They're athletes, probably not. Some of them with high school. What? No Anderson Consulting in Northern Virginia? Some Olympic experience. But hey, Rand, who did you have in your bracket for the final four? I got Anderson Consulting, Anderson Consulting, Chaminade, and Anderson Consulting. Dinner serves as the norm for their corporate gathering. But Stalker cam in full effect? That's 500 yards, isn't it? Is these 650 weekend warriors who have made their way down to sunny Miami, Florida. Did someone try to shave his eyebrows while he was passed out? In corporate sports battle. Now, for the next hour, you will see the best in corporate America. Have some fun until they head off to jail. Non-traditional, all in an attempt to find out who is number one. This has to be the only battlefield where high Hot potato is played. Throw it down to my partner, Tom Pace. To work hard and play hard might be normal, but it is the mantra for each of the 32 teams here. Gentlemen, start your bouncy balls. Behind me, the track, side of the sprinting events, 60-yard dash for men and women. 60-yard dash? It started at 100, but then there were cutbacks. Oh. 240 relay, the baton pass, absolutely critical to success. Then my favorite, the obstacle course. Who cares? Your team drops three seconds, could be knocked out of the contest. And off the pension plan. Pool for some standard sprint events and some of the trick events to make the battle exactly what it is. Contrived. Wrinkle this year, secret events. None of the competitors will What? Secrecy in a corporation? No! This year. This is the ah, the rat race. They should have done this thing on treadmills. Well, Todd, the top eight places in each event will receive points. Couldn't they have explained the scoring system before the race started? Well, I'm sure it's just a quick, easy explanation. events with three or less players. Okay, four participants, 25 points. Wait, oh, okay, I didn't get that. All right, so it's the 5K male and female scores. Oh, okay, I didn't get that. Couldn't Anderson Consulting have consulted Anderson Consulting on the scoring system? Must regain co-workers' respect after soiling myself at Christmas party. again is Chrysler. J. Hill shirt. Zero to 5K in 20 minutes, just like a Chrysler. Tom caught up with our overall winner. Uh, I guess my strategy today was, uh, well, at one point I wanted to take the lead and then not let anybody pass me before I got to the finish line. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> That's just a joke. I work for Chrysler. We gag around a lot. Just having a great time. It's great here in Florida. Woo! Got it. Nerd. The next battle event, the CEO Golf AccuPutt. Yes, because when I think battle event, I think putting green by the side of a pool. And this is Jerry Hasselbrook, the managing partner for Anderson Consulting Atlanta. Jerry had some pretty quiet help from the silent gallery. The record score at this event is six. Silent brown nosing. He holds a record. He only scored a 58 on this round. Only? Isn't Jerry the point of golf to score low? Chances here. He even had time to make a little side bet with Kevin Casey. Winner gets to sleep with the loser's assistant. Who's Allen and Hamilton? 
Kevin's won this what glass time. ceiling? AccuPuck Golf Challenge, and he does it very well. He drops 61 balls on this one, wins a side bet, and has Let the assistant swapping back. begin! You're not gonna lose this. You sign our checks, but we've never met you! Here are the final results. It's Booz Anderson, Anderson Consulting, Anderson strong Anderson. showing. Pico and SMS rounding out the top four. Next up, the Frisbee. Lower level executives a cutting loose. Team, a hander, a tosser, and a catcher or tucker. Who's your favorite tucker? That's easy. Trent. Really? Mine's Tanya. First to look at Team SMS. Total. No, you look at them. Disc and battling a little wind. Dude, slow down. Dude, seriously, I can't keep tucking. Anderson Consulting Houston with some unorthodox tossing of multiple discs. Leave it to the consulting team to find a loophole. Flatters and couldn't hold on no more. I told you Susan wasn't right for this. She's the boss's wife. What could I do? You're the team captain. I got three kids and a mortgage. Good throw. Nice. Miss. Awful. You're not even close. You're fired. I'm surprised she didn't miss Pico her face with her hands. And hung on to 63 Frisbees. Four short of the record and a lot of fun to watch. Team Pico claims the victory. Pico, 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 Pico. Take us through the event. How'd it go? I went for well, a hamstring held up, although I felt some pain under my armpit. I was thinking about my mom and my brother fighting overseas. We succeeded. We did well. We were number one. We won this. Thank the Lord. So much for separation of church and business. How'd you guys get through it? Practice. The Lord. Yeah, same thing. I wonder which one really did help Team Pico win, practice or the Lord? I think I know someone who can tell you. God? No, it's some other booming-voiced omnipresent entity. Of course it's God. Come on. Hey, God. So what was it, God, you or practice that helped Team Pico win? Well, it's an age-old question in sports, but in this case, it was all me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on a second. In this case... Does that mean that there are some cases where it's not you? Of course, I'm a busy guy. All right, that was me. That was me. That's me. We talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. That was practice. That was Satan. And that was me. Wow, who knew? Yeah, God, thank you, as always, for stopping by. Uh, no problem, guys. What ifs? <laughs> what ifs? Did God just say what ifs? I think he did just say what ifs. Man, why is he shortening it? Is he that busy? He's busy, yeah. Or he's cool, one of the two. He doesn't really shorten it that much, though. It's only like one letter. I know. Hey, welcome back to Cheap Seats, where today we're watching the 1998 corporate sports battle sponsored by Anderson Consulting. And by sponsored by, we mean that they have 13 teams entered. So it's more like an Anderson Consulting intramural league. In the upcoming segment, you're going to see one of the corporate sports battle's so-called secret events. Well, I'm going to tell you right now what the secret event is. Spoiler alert! It's a potato sack race. And spoiler alert, downgraded. One of the more difficult trick events here at the Corporate Sports Battle Final, the Hip Hugger Relay. Sponsored by Bongo Jeans. It's basically a pool float, but the difficulty, it's hard, hard plastic. I still to fail to see the difficulty. Between two hips running at full speed, really impossible. If you drop it... I think impossible would have covered it. And if it's impossible, why are we doing it? It's really difficult, the baton. Tom getting his prop pocket on. Going to approach the competitor. Not this time, it's an opposing stick pass. Yeah, no idea what that means. Really difficult. All right, we are Let the office romances begin. Relay. There you see the lineups, cable and wireless. And Do they need to have their shirts off? Philadelphia in lane six. Now, this one's tough to call, Tom, because it can go any way. Because it's not a real sport? And a clean start. It looks like a lot of the teams are staggering their men's first, the women first. That makes no sense. Yeah, it should be women second, men second. Well, that's a, that is a very key issue, Todd, with all these... I wonder if they're going to use this footage for their sexual harassment training tape. If they don't, it's a missed opportunity. Closest to us, and they have lost the jouster, and look how much ground they have lost there. We screwed up, and we're five seconds behind. Good luck. And it looks like Anderson Dude, let's never talk about this again, okay? Totally, dude. The most speed up while keeping the jouster, obviously... Yep, nothing can stop them now. difficult, because once... Except that. ...you lose all concentration. And that. And there it is, a race to the finish. Come on, I'll sleep with you both if we win. Front, they falter. You're the corporatist. No, you're the corporatist. And it's Booz Allen and Hamilton who comes from behind and claims the... Great angle. That really clarifies things. 
Congratulations to them. They're down with Tom. Who isn't down with Tom? Booz Allen winning the hip hugger. Somebody talk about it. Way to set him up, Pace. It's been my third year competing, and I'm grateful for the win. Thank you, Corporate Bismarcky. As a rookie, this feels great. <laughs> You're not a rookie, Janet. You're an intern. We talked about this. Corporate sports battle, the mystery track event. The participants did not know until last night it would be the sack attack relay. Or you could be normal and call it a potato sack race. No time to get in a last minute practice, Tom. We're talking about practice. But you're exactly right. Without the time to fine tune it for this, it puts everything right into the mix again. It's wide open. Four team members that start midfield opposite in and midfield going back again. Their really sacks are taking a tremendous pounding here. And that's not easy to do with these sacks. Well, it's not. If you've ever done this at your own company picnic or else a family outing. Then we suggest changing jobs or asking for a new family. Not very easy. You've got ten Sack attack Gastineau destroying the field. And also, too, we're not designed to hop like frogs. The ten Backhanded intelligent design reference. Well, Booz Allen had a lead, but SMS has come back strong by virtue of clean transitions. Are we still talking about the sack attack? In the last leg, he is coming to the finish line, but he's got a bit of a chase. Oh, and it looks like at the first I've never line. seen such a clear tie in my life. Here it is again, Lugana's type form from Leon Britton of Booz Allen and Hamilton. He edges out Bill Swift. Never has a photo finish determined so little. Booz Allen, two straight, winning the sack attack. Sean, take us through it. As a company, do you really want to be known as the masters of the sack attack? We knew we had to do that, and that's what we did, and Leon pulled it out at the end. The sad thing is, Leon's life is never going to get better than this. Worried, so I wanted to make sure I can bounce as much as I possibly could. <laughs> Amen, corporate Warren Moon. Right now for the rest of the battle. Oh, uh, Rumble! Yeah! Once again, Sherry proves why she's Very never good. invited to the brainstorming back. meetings. I don't understand it. It looked like both those guys crossed the finish line at the exact same time. How did they decide who the winner was? Well, Rand, you gotta remember, this is the corporate world. And in business, two companies' proposals may have the exact same content, but if one is neatly placed in a binder with laminated pages, that company is gonna get the account. And just like they said, that dive was classic Greg Luganus. Yep, you gotta love the gayness. Whoa, 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 what are you guys doing? We're doing our show. Since when does doing your show involve shouting insensitive epithets like gayness? Oh, no. See, I was saying like in Greg Lou Gayness, G-A-N-I-S. Don't you spell it, me. OK, I'm sorry. sorry. Boys, remember, we are from Edutech. We educate employees about proper corporate behavior in a corporate environment. You have to watch what you say. You have to be appropriate. Well, he's wearing a Speedo. That's really inappropriate. Yeah. Eyes up here. Okay. okay. Yeah. Is this making you uncomfortable? It's really a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Good. Because we're acting. I don't oh believe it. I don't believe it. We're acting, and we think you guys need some sensitivity training. All right. So we're going to talk to Sheila in human resources about that right after we get back from taping of the View. Okay. Wait a minute. You're going to the View dressed like that? No. No. Oh, okay. Good. We have Boas in the car. Wait a minute. Hold on. You have a car in the city? Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. How do you do that? How do you do a car? It's an edutech car. Oh, really? It's yeah, like a company. It's a company car. Oh, it's a company car. It's a company lollipop. Company lollipop. Hey, welcome back to Cheap Seats, where we are in the middle of the 1998 corporate sports battle. Would you really call it a battle, Jay? I mean, doesn't it feel more like a skirmish? That's a very good question, Randy, but can I be perfectly honest with you? Please. I don't care. Just Corporate sports battle host Todd Harris graduated from BYU with a double major in communications and psychology. Do you care that Todd Harris has covered the NBA playoffs, the 2002 Winter Olympics, and the world's strongest man competition? Do you care that while announcing from the Indy Pits in 2004, Todd Harris caught on fire twice? Wow. That is unbelievable. I've actually never seen somebody catch on fire twice. Well, apparently you've never seen the work of this man. What did we just say? Sensitivity. Wait, why do you have the mustache now? Why do you? Aren't you supposed to be at The View? We're going. We're on our way. Right after this song. Let's get back to the battle. Weird. Welcome back to the battle. We have moved to the University of Miami pool. The men's 50-yard backstroke is up first. Pause for drama? Nope. And here's a name you may remember from past Olympics. 
Biondi? This is Ray Brown from Anderson Consulting Atlanta. He Who? won this event three years in a row. I love that he's grown a goatee for a sport where most men shave their bodies. Cocky. In lane number three. He's always been fast taught. At the Most end. Olympians Not are. What he's accustomed to in his Olympic career. Somebody's showing off. Start, transition, absolutely critical, but really, the race is for second place. And Way to hype the drama, guys. That is him. In lane number three, it is Ray Brown. While we watch this boring race, let's think about Ray Brown for a second. If you're him, you've got nothing to gain. Right. If you win, you just beat some administrative assistant from Dallas. And if you lose, you're definitely getting fired. And if you can't do a flip turn, Another they'll have to put you to sleep. See, absolutely, the race is going to be for second, where it looks really tight. Well, it would mean something to say you beat an Olympian. But yes, I it would mean the Olympian didn't try. Points. It looks like Ray Brown is going to give Anderson Consulting Atlanta Another first place victory. What a surprise. The Olympian won. Nothing hollow about that victory. Anderson consulting Atlanta taking the victory. He Crowd shot from another event. Pace. Tom. Ray Brown once again an impressive win of four P. To go with your zero Olympic medals. Yeah, that was, uh, it was a good race. Things are getting faster here. Go T slowing him down. Well, after your Olympic experience and then with having a child and everything else, your experiences keep getting better here at the battle final. Yeah, having a child is right on par with swimming in the corporate battle. Uh, it's, it's been fun. I'm really having a lot of fun here. With the exception of this interview. Just want to point out, all these competitors have as many Olympic medals as Ray Brown. And remember, it's down and back, four participants. Look at that in lane five, the second lane closest to us. She's actually locking her feet around that guy's neck. Uh, apparently, they never heard the old adage about not dipping your pen in the company. He's trying to follow Anderson Consulting Dallas up in lane three. And nearest us, lane six for second, Booz Allen and Hamilton. Nothing humiliating about this. Transition Where's the flip turn? Is on for second, the quick jump. Hello, mailroom. Oh, look at that. Marshall Contino goes right over the top. Wait, That's these effect. people have names? Booz Allen and Hamilton out of the running. Oh, the head whip tells me that this guy is definitely not taking this event too seriously. Marshall Contino had no chance of double donut. Settle down, Brad. You won the double donut relay, not the World Cup. You know, after seeing a few of these events, it really becomes obvious that some of these corporations have far better athletes on their teams than others. Well, that's no accident, Rand. In fact, I've always said that the companies who do the best on corporate game day are the companies who do the best on corporate draft day. Let's find out who's got the edge in this year's upcoming corporate draft. Thanks, guys. We've got an exciting corporate games draft, so let's get right into it. First on the board is a no-brainer, Kevin Glick. Senior at Stanford, business major, third string on the men's basketball team. He's 6'4", 215 pounds, not too big for a forward in the Pac-10. But put him next to Johnny Copy Machine, and he dominates. Anderson Consulting took a hit last year with some of the layoffs. Glick will help. Number two, I'm going with Debbie Weintraub, senior from Florida State. Debbie is captain of the women's soccer team, and her sorority, Alpha Delta Pi, took the Greek Olympics at FSU, with Debbie winning three events, including the talent show. Drews Allen and Hamilton want to trade up for this pick, but I don't see Chrysler passing on her and being accused of pulling the corporate Sam Bowie. My dark horse for this draft is a kid named Russ Townsend out of San Jose. Russ graduated high school last year, but didn't go to college because his girlfriend is now a senior, and he wanted to be with her. He's clearly got some character issues, but he did letter in football and volleyball. Check back for updates to see who's moving up and down the corporate big board. Hey, welcome back to Cheap Seats and the dramatic conclusion of the 1998 corporate sports battle. Actually, it's not that dramatic at all. The two teams competing in the tug-of-war final are totally out of contention to win the battle, so this grand finale has absolutely no implication on the winner. It'd be like if Taylor Hicks won American Idol, but then we still had to sit through a sing-off between Justin Guarini and William Hung. Hey! What? That is the guy's name! It's tug of war time here at the battle. This is the final event. Is that a stained glass do rag? What an event it is. This is Al Fennel, team captain, tug anchorman from Aon, Philadelphia. And Think this guy's been looking forward to this event? It's what gets him through the weekly staff meeting. Aon, Philadelphia won the. Okay, guys, before we start, just remember your timesheets are due by six. They must be signed by you. Last year competing. Still no Martha Stewart sighting. 
the battle, none of the top three teams and points made it even to the semis. Making this event more irrelevant than Mad Magazine. Black and Anderson Consulting, Atlanta. Anderson, when did they enter the competition? Goes, boy, it sure looks like Atlanta, Tom, is very well organized. What organization? It's a tug of war. You just sit behind each other and pull. Nobody. Oh, God, I think I'm having a sack attack. Chickless trying to win this one for Lem. Right now, I think Philadelphia has just spent way too much energy. And Philadelphia yes, my lucky multicolored towel did it. Anderson consulting it. All of our towels did it. Well, great for them and a tough break for Alpha. I'm not fit to wear this do rag. Tom. Yes. Team Anderson consulting. Um, anybody want to check the child labor laws? Julian. This is the best team that we've ever had in the tug of war. Just wow, Julian has a really thick Atlanta accent. And great timing, too. Come on, Boo Boo. Wave to all the unemployed people at home. We present the Outstanding Male and Female Awards. Gary Close, partner, Anderson Consulting. He looks like the human manifestation of golf. This is a team event, but every year it seems that two individuals rise above and deserve individual recognition. Gary looking camera left for no apparent reason. Of Anderson Consulting, I am pleased to present the Outstanding Female... The slow motion leads me to believe that she's dead. ...of Chrysler Corporation. I'm real happy. This is a great team effort for everybody. So this, this... Stop it, Wendy. Iacocca doesn't like humility. Just ask Snoop. Team put forth. It was a fabulous, fabulous meet, and I'm really excited. Go, Chrysler! Suck up. And this year... And how could we forget this gem? ...is Leon Britton of Booz Allen and Hamilton. Congratulations. They're not booing. They're saying booze. Either that or Boog Powell just walked in. Ah! Booz Allen and Hamilton offices. I'm absolutely amazed that I won this. With Leon looks a little um, too poised. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't pull a speech out and then say how surprised he was. Well, the moment we've all been waiting for. I want to the beheadings. Butler, a partner with Anderson Consulting to present. How does one become a partner? I don't know. Ask Johnny Cakes. Thank you very much. I'd like to present, on behalf of Anderson Consulting and the Corporate Sports Battle, the 1998 National Championship Trophy. To the I hope Great Susan's Sports not the managing partner of communications. And there you have it. Great call, Corporate Sports Battle, for doing that long, sappy, slow-mo profile on Aeon Philly's Al Fennel right before the tug of war that he lost that meant nothing to the standings. Clearly, Al did not bring his Aeon game. But that's just corporate America for you, inefficient and good at wasting time. But there's one thing that's never a waste of time. I think you know what I'm talking about, and I hope you have Adobe Acrobat Reader because we're about to attach some cheapies PDF style. Cheapy for worst, Anderson. I'm giving mine to Anderson Consulting. You should be ashamed of yourself, Anderson. You hosted the tournament, you fielded like two-thirds of the teams, and you still couldn't win. I'm gonna give my cheapy to Ray Brown. He swam in the Olympics, and now he's taking on desk jockeys. That's why he gets my cheapy for the cockiest ringer. Okay, Ran, even I was a little bit offended by that last oh, one. No. Guys, we don't care about that. We just want to show you the new drinks we invented, the Margarito. Oh, is that like a mojito and a margarita, or...? No, it's a margarita with a Dorito in it. Mine's a margarita with Associate Justice Samuel Alito in it. Wow, oh. just an essence of Samuel Alito. That's right. It's, it's, well, it had to be confirmed by the Senate, but we think, we think it's looking good.